I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to episode 20 of Hashtag Friday Sews. As always, um, I like to start this video with a big thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room who started the hashtag and um, which has allowed me basically to meet a bunch of amazing people all over the world who participate in this hashtag every Friday. So if you've not done so yet, I highly recommend that you search for the hashtag here on YouTube and discover a bunch of sewists who talk about what they've been up to in their sewing room that week. All right, so I'm gonna try and make this quick because I'm way behind schedule in filming this video. I like to film my Friday Sews videos actually on Thursday night and then schedule them to go live Friday morning. But last night, yeah, it was uh, I was exhausted when I finished work and we had dinner and I was basically in bed by eight o'clock. So filming did not happen and today was a full day so I'm only getting around to filming now. So uh, to start with my finishes or what I've been working on this week. So I focused on a couple of things this week, which basically make up a set. And I talked about that in my August plans. Yeah, so my August plans video that I put out last this week, earlier this week. And I'll put a card up here somewhere um, to that video. So first thing was the Ashton Top by Helen's Closet, made up in a chambray fabric that I got in a Beyond the Pink Door subscription box. And that is all done. So um, I used the chambray fabric, like I said, and then used some cream viscose for the facings. They do peek out a little bit at the arm here, which is a little bit annoying, but I mean, not that bad. When I'm wearing it, they don't peek out, but when I put it on, I have to make sure that everything's stuck inside. I'm gonna talk uh, more about this when I do my August makes, obviously, but I did a bit of a boo-boo and I really should have known better. So I'm really annoyed with myself, but the last Ashton top I made, which was probably a couple of years ago now, I made a size 16 with the D cup front. And although it still fits me, I thought I found it, I find it a little snug in the upper back or in the back and around here. So I don't know why I thought I needed to size up instead of just doing a full bust adjustment. Um, I mean, I'm not a D cup, I'm a double D or E cup. So I really should have known to just do an FBA on my size 16 and that it would have fit me perfectly. But no, I decided to size up to a size 18 to make this one. And yeah, it's a little big. So there's gaping in the front arm side which is a sure indication that you need an fba by the way and the armhole is a little bit low and there's yeah extra fabric over here anyways i mean it still fits okay the gaping in the front bugs me because if i'm positioned just right you can see my bra a little on the side but if I decide to wear this, um, I don't know that I'm going to wear this into the fall, but when I take it out next spring, I can definitely wear a cardigan with it and then you won't see anything. But I was really, really annoyed with myself when I put it on. But anyways, it's done and I'm otherwise happy with it. And I made some progress on my Belize shorts in the same fabric. So I've got the shorts all put together, hemmed. I've pinned the waistband in place. And now I'm gonna, I just need to sew up the, the waistband, insert the elastic, and this one's gonna be done. And I know these will fit because I did the exact same thing I did 
on my last pair and those fit me just fine. So hopefully I'm going to get these shorts all done tonight before I go to bed. I'm not going to the cottage this weekend, so I'm going to get some sewing time tonight, which is kind of nice. So those were my projects this week. So a finished Ashton top and some Belize shorts that fingers crossed will be all done tonight. Now my plans, um, and the reason why I'm not going to the cottage, it's because I have an event or well, two events this weekend that I'm going to. So this weekend is my big weekend away with my mom, my brother, and my sister. So we have a dinner cruise tomorrow night, so Saturday night. We have a brunch on Sunday. We're going to spend the afternoon together tomorrow before the cruise. Um, we are staying at a hotel Saturday night, so it's going to be amazing. The first time in probably 35 years that I'm away with just my siblings and my mom. So no partners, no children, no grandchildren, just the four of us. It'll be amazing. But before I need to leave for the hotel tomorrow, I'm going to have a few hours to sew. So tomorrow morning and then for the remainder of next week, I'm going to be focusing on getting ready for my baby quilt or the baby quilt I plan on making and that I'm going to have a very relaxed, no stress quilt along on here. So I need to figure out all of the fabric I need. I need to figure out all the math I need to make. So all the cutting instructions and all of that good stuff. So that's going to be tomorrow morning's job. And then I also want to make a muslin of the Kenneton dress by Cashmeret. So that's a Cashmeret Club pattern that came out last month or the month before. Anywho, I've got a gorgeous viscose poplin that I'm going to use to make that dress, but I need to muslin it first because I've never made that pattern before. So getting ready for my quilt, my quilt along and making a muslin of the Kenneton dress are the top priorities for next week. All right, um, I thought I would share some fabric that came in this week. <laughs> so um, one of them is the fabric in the Think Pink subscription box from Beyond the Pink Door, and it is gorgeous. So two and a half meters of this beautiful viscose fabric. Um, there were four colorways this month a black background, a navy background, a forest green background, if I recall, um, and this pink. And I'm so happy I got the pink. This is absolutely stunning. Um, and all of my colors. So, yay. So two and a half meters of this. So I don't know. It's obviously enough to make a simple dress. Um, not enough to make the kinetin because that requires three meters. Uh, does it? Yes, three meters. So if you have any ideas of what I can do for, I mean, the color screams spring summer to me. So if I'm going to do something with this, I should do it really quick. And I did promise myself that I would use my Beyond the Pink Door fabric as it came in. So I really should do something with this, but maybe I could make like a long sleeve blouse. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, if you have any ideas, would love to hear. And then I placed an order from uh, Core Fabrics. I don't know, 10 days ago, maybe. And it came in this week and I am super happy with the fabric. So the first one is what they are calling an abstract floral print cotton. So this feels like a cotton lawn. It's, um, it's pretty lightweight. Yeah, it feels like a cotton lawn. It's a little bit sheer, not see through, but a little bit sheer. I got three yards of this because I thought 
if the Kenneton dress comes out nice, if I really like it, um, I thought maybe I could make another one with this. And in these colors, I could definitely wear this in the fall, winter with tights. I'd obviously have to either line it or wear a slip with it. But yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. So I was thinking a Kenneton dress with this. Next, I bought two meters of a Tencel Modal Spandex Rib Knit in this gorgeous, um, what are they calling this? Hot pink color. This is so soft. This is amazing. And I'm going to make a itch to stitch. Oh my goodness, what's the name of that pattern? An itch to stitch tee, long sleeve tee with the boat neck that I've done a few times now and I just cannot remember the name. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, so yeah, so one of these in the pink and I ordered the exact same fabric in the navy to make basically the same thing. Another itch to stitch tee with long sleeves that I can wear this fall and into winter. This is like very weighty, like substantial fabric. Um, yeah, goodness. So yes, so that's the next two fabrics from Core. And then the last fabric from Core Fabrics is a viscose crepe and it's a border print and i got three yards of it as well because i was thinking it would make a gorgeous dress so let's see if i can show you the yes so along the salvage is like this darker print and then the gray the rest of the way with these beautiful pink cream and black like blotches I thought this was absolutely lovely and this is this is my gray i love this gray so i figured i could make a dress with maybe the border print um running along the bottom or maybe even no yeah the bottom so yeah so three yards of this and it's very nice and floaty but because it's a crepe it's got like this texture to it Again, not completely sheer, but not, not really opaque either. So, but for the fall winter with black tights, it should be fine. So those are the fabrics that I purchased recently. Now I was working today and my husband walked into my little office with a pink parcel for me that came in the mail. And I knew this was coming. I didn't know when it would get here. But Adam from Adam Sews sent me a note about a week ago to say, I've got some fabric I'd like to send you. Can I get your address? I was like, oh, of course. So I sent him my address and it got here today. So I spoke about this fabric in a couple of my videos. This is a beautiful pointel knit in white or cream. I use this kind of fabric to make the galaxy tees for my daughter. So Adam thought that I would love it in this color and I do. This is amazing. This is amazing. I have, oh, I think there's probably like a good yard and a half, if not more. So I can definitely make a tee for myself and this will definitely be for me. So I said I wanted to try the galaxy tea for myself but somebody and i apologize i can't remember who um somebody suggested that i borrow the sleeves from the galaxy tea and put it on another t-shirt which is genius but i could also use the concord tea which is what i'm wearing today and put the sleeves of the carlisle tea which are puffy onto it because the Carlisle was a cashmere club pattern from a few months ago and the sleeves and bodice and everything are interchangeable between that one and the Concord. 
So I can make myself a puffy sleeved Concord tee with this. Like how amazing would that be? So yes, and in with the parcel, in addition to the fabric was this gorgeous little zipper pouch that Adam made. I love this. He used some Tula fabric for this beautiful zip. And the lining is some more Tula fabric. I think this is from the Make line or Maker line. I love this, Adam. I love, love this. This is probably going to be used to keep my rotary cutters safe and away from the cat. Because the cat loves to jump on my cutting table. And if I leave my rotary cutters out, he loves to play with them and throw them on the floor. Which is what cats do, isn't it? So I'm super happy with my gift, Adam. Thank you so much. You are the sweetest person ever. All right, well, I think that's all I have for you this week. I did wanna say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I, um, I'm now above or over 400 subscribers, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. So thank you to all of you who click that, sub that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate you doing that. Also, leave me a thumbs up on your way out if you like the video. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a week ahead, and I will see you soon.